Hey, Laura J. E. Hamilton here in my home space. I didn't make it perfect, even though I knew that we would be sharing this experience together because I want you to know that I'm real, that I'm imperfect, and that that is perfect. So it's the reminder that we are all imperfectly perfect and that it's okay to show up to the ring of life and not know who you are. That none of us actually know who we are until we lose our sense of identity and affiliation with the tribe in order to embark on the journey that shapes us as the individual. That allows us to then step back into the tribe or the community that we all belong to, which is the global community, and then from that space build our own identity in the world and come back to the tribe and share who we have become with the ones that we left behind in order to become it. Some of us choose to stay behind in order to play small and stay with those that we enjoyed and have always loved and a lot of us trade our dreams for our friends unfortunately because we become the average of the five people we spend our time with because our time is the lottery we win every day 86,400 seconds each of us get the very same amount of time and yet each of us spend our allocations differently and have different results as a consequence cause and effect we live in a causal universe Everything has a cause and effect. Everything has an equal and opposite to it. We must realize that for every up, there is an equal and opposite down in the law of polarity states that when you reach a certain level of enthusiasm or excitement, you must then go down in equal measure to what it took for you to reach that state from where normal was to you. So that is to basically say this is the high rise of emotional awareness theory and in this you have 22 different levels of emotion and within this halfway through you have a break and it's called the parapets so it's the high and low points on the edge of a drawbridge castle or kingdom and underneath of that parapet are all the negative downward depressing emotions that start with boredom pessimism frustration irritation impatience overwhelm Disappointment, doubt, blame, discouragement, anger, revenge, hatred, rage, jealousy, insecurity, guilt, unworthiness, fear, grief, depression, despair. Oh God, the lower we go, the heavier it is and the harder it is to stay strong in our conviction of what we're going for when these really send us into a reactive state. Comparatively, contentment, hopefulness, optimism, positive expectation or belief, Enthusiasm, happiness, eagerness, passion, joy, enthusiasm, empowerment, freedom, appreciation, love, knowledge. Those are higher expressions of self-actualization, which is ultimately what we have all come here for. Abraham Maslow has his hierarchy of needs theory that states all of us operate from a basic level of survival, then into safety. Once our survival has been assured, we can look for safe means of survival. Then we look for belonging, fitting in with others in order to feel safe yet more. And then we look for respect of being with others who respect us and others who we can be more respected and respect ourselves for being connected to. And then from that space, move into self-actualization. What I feel like we have missed as a memo culturally is the fact that we are the ones that we have been waiting for. That we are the only ones that can choose how we're going to experience our feelings. Because our feelings are the interpretation of the energies in motion in our environment. And our environment is based on where we choose to put ourselves and what we choose to put in our environment. I took a break to sip some cacao at 444 in this message 
which is significant because it's a master number, it's a pattern showing me that that was significant. That there actually is equal information in the pause that is pregnant with potential to the words that I say and fill other spaces instead of opening for that pregnancy, that pause, that space. without losing eye contact. Isn't that powerful? Do you feel the sacredness of this exchange? Do you feel the sacredness of what I offer you? Just in terms of sitting and being and teaching in the flow, not having a plan specifically, other than to give reassurance that even though you don't know who you are when you step into the arena of life, that that's who you're finding out you are through the process of going through it and that when you finally go through that process of transformation in order to become the one that you've been waiting for and you come back to share with the tribe what you learned from your journey it's powerful beyond measure let me tell you i can assure you of only one thing we learn who we are by losing who we thought we needed to be in order to be enough you already are my friend I hope you'll believe that, and then I hope you will be willing to develop a special practice to honor yourself as you become the one that you've been waiting for. The special practice is how we honor the holy aspects of ourselves, the fact that we are on a sacred sojourn, that it is happening in the present moment because it's the only one that we get, that there is an emotional system at play within us that is showing up outside of us too. The conscious mind is the part of us that discerns information for what it means to and for us and how it fits and sits within the emotional world of memories and beliefs which are the BS that create our inner world. BS being belief systems. Everything is BS that you believe, my friend. None of it is true for sure. But what you will feel is resonance with truth. And that is what I encourage you to become conscious of as you consume information from myself and others. For you to feel how it feels within you that's how you know what is true, what should be true, because ultimately you get to choose. And you can either choose something that's going to scare you and be fear-based, or you can choose something that is going to delight and inspire and uplift you. And I know what I would choose, and I hope that you would love yourself enough to choose to do so too. Lord J, Namaste. The light in me honors the light in you, and may you also drink some cacao a heart-opening, natural beverage that just helps you really Ooh, tune in to you and your That was bonus I might do them sometimes but I already said goodbye, so if you are watching and don't like it, then goodbye. <laughs> and if you do like it, thank you. I'll do better another day when I'm prepared to do such things, but in the meantime, it was just fun to be me and to play with you and to say that it's great to be yourself and to know when enough is enough, so. Peace. Lord J. Namaste.